not merely seeing reality, it is touching the truth. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. My name is Matt and this is my final thoughts and redirect for episodes 171, 172, and 173 of One Piece. So go ahead, click the link in the description, check that out, come back here, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see the next two weeks worth of reaction videos, check out my Patreon. The link is also in the description. And over there, I post early access reactions to all the videos I post here on YouTube, with the exception of My Hero Academia and video game streams. Okay, so uh, we had a lot of action these episodes. Um, we're still fighting in the uh, whatever you want to call this contest that uh, God and Eru has set out uh, for to find the city of gold. I'm surprised that in the 400 years, not a single person has found it yet. But um, now they're all fighting to see who will find it. Uh, the Shandians are trying to take back their land because they know that the gold exists there. God and Eru wants it for his own selfish means. Uh, the Straw Hats want it because they're pirates. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of craziness going on here. Um, we got uh, a fight between White Wiper and uh, Luffy in 171 that was pretty cool. Uh, I really like the fighting animation that they had with Luffy stretching out a lot. That was really cool. And uh, I thought it was also really cool when they did Bazooka versus Bazooka. Um, the dude was shooting out like Kamehameha Blast out of that Bazooka. I know it was like gas that's supposed to be on fire, but come on. It was a straight beam of blue energy. It looked like a Kamehameha. But uh, it, nonetheless, it was a Bazooka Blast, and Luffy was sending it back at him. And uh, um, yeah, in, in the end, the dude ended up wiper ended up leaving because he wanted to go fight uh god and Eru instead and uh luffy ended up falling into this area where i think he's on his way over to where the gold temple is because he keeps walking down it and running into more and more pieces of gold like a gold necklace a crown and uh i think by at the end of that tunnel he will have found the gold possibly if he doesn't die of hunger before he gets there um we had the brothers of the ball ordeal dude. They were kind of a pain in the ass, but Nami beat them, and uh, Gonfall beat one of them as well. And uh, that was pretty cool too. You know, I like to see Nami fight. She did a she did a good job, and she was able to hold her own. She used her weapon, whatever that weapon is that Usopp made for her, and it was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, you know, Gonfall's gauntlet dial as well to finish them off, but. Uh, it's cool to see Nami, you know, fight and, and get in it and, and actually contribute. And uh, we also got uh, some contribution in the fights with Chopper, which was very surprising as well. Um, we haven't really seen Chopper too much as a combatant, but he was doing really well. And he actually took out one of the priests himself. I'm, I'm very uh, surprised. I mean, this dude was a big old idiot, though. I mean, he kept forgetting that his eyes were rolled in his head and... That he wasn't talking out loud and he was talking to himself. So, of all of the Sky Priests for Chopper to fight, I'm glad it was him because Chopper's smart. He's a doctor and this dude was just a buffoon. And uh, Chopper was able to use his wits and his strength to hammer him into the into the swamp after stealing one of his dials. And uh, that was really cool. And um, he was able to take him out. So, I I'm proud of both Nami and Chopper in these episodes. But... We're dealing with God and Eru. Somehow, some way, he's a lightning man. He is able to completely zap and turn into... I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it seems like he can just turn into lightning and zap away. He just used an ultimate attack that took out, like, 20 people in the surrounding area. And he's going to be formidable. I don't know how we're going to beat him. I mean, they, they shoved a spear through his damn brain, and he just lived it somehow. Because I guess... I really don't know. I don't think that his body composition is made up of anything more than electricity at this point. So we'll have to find out how we beat him and how he got those powers. Perhaps they're Devil's Fruit powers. I don't know if he's from... He, he doesn't have wings, so I don't know if he's from the Skypia area. 
he wants this gold and then he says he's leaving so who knows what his plans are but um yeah he is gonna be a problem if he's as strong as he seems to be so uh anyways i'm looking forward to seeing where they go and uh i can't wait for next time so let me know what you think in the comment section and if you haven't already like and subscribe and until next time i'm chronic gamer peace